Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to share with you about my stock account and today's market update. Today is um, a U.S. national holiday, so let's take a look at uh, some other news of the U.S. stock market. There was a recent financial report showing that Apple's um, Apple stock's prospect is not as looking as well as other tech stocks, such as NVIDIA. After more than 40 years of its worst start, Apple is still a noteworthy investment target, but other tech giants may have more investment potential, such as NVIDIA. The study of Apple stock um, has shown that Apple over the past year have been rising more than 50%, but as we have already talked about this, this is still below average for many of the other tech giant stocks in the US, um, US stock market right now, such as Meta, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, which have been raising more than 100% or nearly 200% this year. So the rare event that's been happening is that Apple's share fell for four consecutive seasons, a fear not as not seen since 1982. As of Friday's close, Apple's market value was 2.875 trillion dollars, while Microsoft was 2.887 trillion dollars on December 14th. Now, Apple had a market value of 3.081 trillion. The reason is that some media, media reports have dampened investor sentiment. It's reported that the antitrust investigation ga case on Apple recently is near to an end and could file a full antitrust lawsuit against Apple in the first half of 2024. It is also under another pressure that analysts worry iPhone and Mac sales would be weaker than expected. Due to the closing of the microeconomic uh, cycle in the um, upcoming 2024 year that uh, economists have been expecting consumers to spend less on um, uh, electronics products and uh, spend more on Uh, spend more on on their savings and paying off higher interest rate payments, which would weaken the demand for iPhone and Mac. However, pro the probability and the influence of these factors may be exaggerated. In fact, news about tech giants often make headlines, and if it does, it'll be a long time to come. Similarly, sales of Apple products may not be smooth to smooth selling, but weaker sales in one region may be offset by strong sales or higher average sales elsewhere. And Apple has proven that it has the ability to make profits even under challenging condition, conditions and different product compositions, such as um, AirPods, Apple's iWatch, and other product lines. For now, analysts still have a buy rating on Apple, but the price target may be particularly impressive, 7% upside over the next 12 months. In other words, Apple is still a good company to watch, but there may be other tech giants that can pose a better alternative, such as Nvidia. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.